Hello kids, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Our lesson for today is all about identifying safety precautions during different weather conditions. At the end of this video lesson, you are able to first identify safety precautions during sunny days. Second, describe safety precautions during rainy days. And last, discuss safety precautions during stormy days. But before that, let's have a simple review. Kindly get your science notebook and answer the following questions. Good job, kids! Now, let's identify safety precautions during different weather conditions. Safety is our priority during the different weather conditions. Observing the precautionary measures will prevent any possible danger or harm. In Tagalog, ang kaligtasan ang ating prioridad sa panahon ng iba't ibang mga kondisyon. Ang pagsunod sa pag-iingat na hakbang ay maiiwasan ang anumang posibleng panganib o pinsala. The Philippines is a tropical country. We experience sunny days, rainy days, and stormy days. In Tagalog, ang Pilipinas ay isang tropikal na bansa. Nararanasan natin ang maaaraw na mga araw, maulan na araw, at mga araw na may bagyo. Now, let's find out the different precautionary measures during rainy days. Number one, wear light colored clothes. Number two, wear a cap or use an umbrella. In Tagalog, magsuot ng sombrero o gumamit ng payong. Number three, Use sunscreen lotion to prevent sunburn. In Tagalog, gumamit ng sunscreen lotion upang maiwasan ang pagkasunog sa araw. Number 4. Keep yourself hydrated. Drink 8 to 10 glasses of water. In Tagalog, panatilihing hydrated ang iyong katawan. 
uminom ng walo hanggang sampung basong tubig. Number 5. Wear sunglasses to protect your eyes from harmful sun rays. In Tagalog, magsuot ng salaming pang-araw upang maprotektahan ang iyong mga mata mula sa mapanganib na sinag ng araw. Now, let's have the precautionary measures during rainy days. Number 1. Use an umbrella or wear raincoat when going out. In Tagalog, gumamit ng payong o magsuot ng kapote kapag lumalabas. Number 2. Avoid being immersed in rain to avoid being sick. Number 3. Use jackets or thick clothes to keep yourself warm. In Tagalog, gumamit ng mga jackets o makakapal na damit upang mapanatili na mainit ang iyong sarili. Number 4. Use rain boots to avoid being infected by leptospirosis and other skin diseases. In Tagalog, gumamit ng mga bota upang maiwasan na mahawahan ng leptospirosis at iba pang mga karamdaman sa balat. Leptospirosis is a rare bacterial infection we get from animals. It's spread through their urine, especially from dogs, rodents, and farm animals. Now, let's have the precautionary measures during stormy days. Number 1. Stay at home. In Tagalog, manatili sa loob ng bahay. Number 2. Get updated on the weather forecast. Number 3. Prepare your go bags for possible evacuation. In Tagalog, ihanda ang iyong go bags para sa posibleng paglikas. Here are the basic items to put in any go bag. We have battery operated or crank radio. Cash, emergency blanket, extra batteries for radios, extra keys to your house and car, extra socks, first aid supplies, and flashlights. Number 4. Store enough food and water supplies. Extra batteries for the radio. In Tagalog, mag-imbak o mag-ipon ng sapat na mga supply ng pagkain at tubig. Dagdag na baterya para sa radio. Number 5. Prepare candle and flashlights for probable power interruption. In Tagalog, Maghanda ng mga kandila at flashlight para sa maaaring pagkawala ng kuryente. Remember kids, it is necessary to protect ourselves from different weather conditions. And also, we must follow the precautionary measures in different weather conditions 
to keep us safe from possible health problems. In Tagalog, kinakailangan nating maprotektahan ang ating sarili mula sa iba't ibang mga kondisyon ng panahon. Dapat din nating sundin ang mga pag-iingat sa iba't ibang mga kondisyon ng panahon upang mapanatiling ligtas tayo sa mga posibleng problema sa kalusugan. Thank you, kids! I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!